Kia ora tata katoa. Ko Perarika Mākia tōku ingwa. My name is Perarika Mākiha. I'm the Kai Hauti Māori for Coast Guard New Zealand. Talofa, malo lele, kia ora ana, nisa bulu vinaka. My name is Chris Lofale and I'm an operational volunteer with Coast Guard Papakura. Crossing a bar is a high risk boating activity, even for an experienced boater. The most important part of your job as a skipper is to make decisions that will get everyone home safely. Key things to remember here are to never attempt a bar crossing without the correct knowledge and experience. So what is a bar? Bars are found outside the entrance of a river or a harbour mouth and they are a build up of sand which continuously changes with the shifting sand and silt. Sandbars are very dangerous for boats to cross because they are always changing and they become unpredictable hazards. Every bar is different, so it's important to understand the local features of the bar that you plan to cross. Planning starts before you leave home. In the days leading up to your trip, make sure your boat has been serviced and is seaworthy. The following acronym will aid you ensuring the relevant equipment is on your boat. P-A-S-S-B-F, fast before. P stands for personal flotation device, life jacket. Ensure there is a correctly fitted life jacket with a hot strap for everyone on board the boat. A is for anchor, chain and warp. S is for signaling equipment. A minimum of two forms of communication, i.e. VHF radio, mobile phone and a waterproof zip lock bag. Flares or EPIRB. Second S is for secondary propulsion, auxiliary motor or oars. B is for baler, bilge pump and F is for fire extinguisher. Make sure that you have enough fuel. Use the one third fuel rule. Have one third for the trip out, one third for the trip home, and one third spare. Always check the marine weather forecast and be sure to look at the wind and the swell. You can find this information on our Coast Guard app. And it's important to know the tide times for both heading out and coming back across the bar. Plan a trip timeline for getting out and getting back across the bar. Make sure you obtain local knowledge from the Coast Guard unit or local experienced boaty. Think about the best time to cross the bar. It's important to know the navigational markers for the bar you are planning to cross, as some bars have leading lights, beacons or landmarks. So in summary, check your boat using Pass BF, plan your trip, Check weather and tide for the day you go out. Check local information about the bar that you're going to cross. On the day of departure, check the Coast Guard app or other avenues to make sure the weather conditions won't deteriorate while you're out. Go through the PASSBF check again. Make sure someone responsible on land knows where you're going. When you'll be back, and when to raise an alarm. Identify the navigational markers and observe the best route to get across the bar and back. Double check your fuel and make sure the breather is open on your tote tank. Put your bung in and secure gear and any loose objects in your boat. Make sure you have two forms of waterproof communications. Check that they are working, battery power and recharging options too. Do a radio check with the Coast Guard to ensure your radio is working. Go over the safety equipment with your crew and make sure everybody knows where it is and how to use it. Ensure everyone puts on their life jackets. It's really, really important. Immediately after launching, log your trip report with Coast Guard. When you're approaching the bar, stop, 
and observe and make sure that the conditions are right before you cross. Watch other vessels crossing above, but don't assume they know what they are doing. Watch the waves and count the sets. Most bars have different wave sets. A bar with a breaking wave or white water across the entire channel should never, never be crossed in an open boat. If it looks too rough, wait for a better time to cross. Know your limits and take your time. If in doubt, don't go out. Once you've made your assessment and are feeling comfortable and confident, ensure everyone puts on their life jackets. Hey, good afternoon, Coast Guard Windstorm Rescue. About to cross the Southern Channel Kuiper Bar. When you're crossing a bar, it is vital that you log a bar crossing report with us on VHF All Star 500 on your mobile phone. That way, if you don't close your report within 15 to 30 minutes, we'll launch a search and rescue response. Brief your crew before crossing the bar. Tell them where to stand or sit and make sure everyone has three points of contact and holds on tight. Stress that everyone needs to stay in the same place as people moving around the boat will create instability. So watch for a lull in the waves. Once you have committed to crossing the bar, you are committed. Never turn around on the bar. Otherwise, a wave can hit your side, which can easily capsize your vessel. Approach the wave straight on and proceed with enough speed to make safe headway. Slow down as you reach the wave, but make sure you have enough speed to carry on to the top of the wave so that you can gently come off the back of it. One of the most common mistakes made when crossing a bar is exiting the channel of the bar too soon. Don't take shortcuts. When you have safely crossed the bar, the water will tend to become deeper and calmer. This is the time to close your bar crossing report with Coast Guard. Yeah, from Windstone Rescue, we are safely outside the South Channel Kuiper Bar. If you have a GPS on board, it's a good idea to enter a GPS waypoint where you have crossed so you can use the mark as your safe assessment point for the return journey across the bar. If you don't have a GPS, look for your navigation markers or known landmarks. When you're ready to return across the bar, go back to the GPS waypoint or look for the navigational markers or landmarks and observe the bar again. Before committing, you need to ask yourself, are the conditions safe? Is the tide suitable? Remember high tide. Crossing the bar because you feel pressed to get home is a recipe for disaster. If you feel that the bar is unsafe to cross, contact Coast Guard on VHF or Star 500 on your mobile and we'll help you make a decision. If you decide to cross the bar, rebrief the crew and secure any loose objects. Remind your crew to hold on and to stay in the same place while crossing. Think about weight distribution, especially if you've added weight to your vessel with fish or seafood. Assess the waves. When you're comfortable, log a bar crossing report with Coast Guard. Again, identify the local channel markers or landmarks to help you navigate your vessel back across the bar safely. Pick a wave to cross the bar. Stay focused on what's ahead. Delegate or choose one of your crew to keep a lookout behind to let you know if there is a wave catching up behind you. If you don't stay with the wave you've chosen, it's likely your boat will fall behind, risking the next wave catching up and capsizing or swamping your vessel. Ensure you proceed on a straight direction at an adequate speed. You'll know when you've safely crossed the bar because the water will tend to become calmer. Coming down. Once you're confident that you have crossed the bar, close your bar crossing report. It's really, really important. Otherwise, Coast Guard will start search and rescue procedures. Yeah, Coast Guard, we are safely inside the Southern Channel, Kuiper Harbour. Thank you for your watch. Once you've done that, then head on back to the boat ramp. Coast Guard Radio. Once Coast you get to the boat ramp, close your trip report. 7952 Windstone Rescue, closing trip report. 
Make sure you can get everyone home safely after a good day out on the water. Always head out with someone who knows what they're doing until they have experience under your belt. If at any point the conditions or checklists don't add up, postpone your trip for another time or day, or choose to go boating somewhere else. Respect the bar. If in doubt, don't go out. Aurera, koti na korero, kote mea nui hoki mai kota meto fano kita kainga. Go out and enjoy yourself, but return home safely with your family.